Hello everyone, welcome to Lavellia's Coloring. In this video, I want to share with you my coloring supplies collection, which is also a request from my lovely subscriber, Andrea. Thank you. Um, I also wanted to let you know that this is not me showing off what I have or what you don't have, but me sharing what I have accumulated since 2015. My love and addiction for coloring it just keeps growing and I believe it will just keep on going. Um, and I'm most likely going to keep adding to this collection. So I hope you take this as me sharing the supplies for the hobby I love. So um, with that, I'll go ahead and clear the table and get started. without dropping it. <laughs> so I'll start off with my Crayola crayons. I have the 64 set and uh, I'm so tempted to get the bigger one. I think there's like a 96 set, but I don't really use crayons that much. Um, I just use it for um, Crayola challenges. So this is my Crayola crayons. The next one I have here is the Crayola Twistables Colored Pencils, the 30 count. And I have the 30 set. I know there's a 50 set out there, but um, like with the crayons, I, I rarely use it. But um, with these, you just twist it clockwise and it pops out. And I did use it on uh, Jade Summer. Uh, book. had fun with it, but you know, other coloring projects come up and I forget about them. So, yeah, nice to do this collection so I can see, see what I need to go and play with. So this is my Crayola Twistables colored pencils. The next one I'm going to show you is the Sakura Kopi Pencil, and I have the 60 count. Um, this is uh, comparable to the Crayola Crayons, the Japanese version, uh, but I, for me, I think it's slightly better. Um, I like to use this for backgrounds. And on the tin, I'll go ahead and move you up a little bit right here. And on the tin, cover, you can see the numbers and the name of each of the crayons. So I'll go back down. Anyways, I, I grew up in Japan um, and I believe these were my first set of crayons, um, but I had the, either the 12 or the 24. and. Yeah, these crayons bring back a lot of memories for me with, you know, coloring with my dad, him showing me how to line the image and coloring it in, trying to mix up the colors and stuff. But on the pencil, you can see it kind of reminds you of the woodless pencils. I think Koinor has one, Arteza, but, um, but it colors like a crayon. So it's a Sakura Kopi pencil, and it also has the number of, I'm sorry, the number of the crayon. It also has um, gold and silver and neon colors. Lots of beautiful colors, especially the pastels. It also comes with an eraser. Um, I haven't opened this one up just because I have other erasers I'm still using and might as well just keep this nice and wrapped up and clean. And it also comes with a sharpener, which I will probably use with the crayons too, just cause I think it might sharpen a lot better than the one that's on the uh, Crayola box. And this, um, this crayons were purchased on amazon.com. which I'm really glad that they did offer it because this is um, a really good set and really brought back a lot of good memories in my childhood. 
So this is Sakura Kopi Pencil, the 60 count. So now I want to go ahead and show you my Prismacolor Premier collection. Um, this is the first set I started off with when I started um, adult coloring. Uh, I got the 48 set, but inside this case is, um, if I can open it, <laughs> um, they're all long and not used because um, when I bought the 150 set, all the colors that I um, had on the 48, I took it out of the 150 and stuck it in here. And um, so this was going to be my backup. So this is my 48 set. But I also went ahead when the price went low, low enough for me to want to buy another set of 150 Prismacolor. I, I just, yeah, I went ahead and got it. So this is my backup. And the reason I got this is because I always use Prismacolor. Um, and knowing that I have a backup and another backup, but also the back of the colors that are not in the 48 set. But, um, I'm not so worried about sharpening my pencils and using it a lot. So yeah, this um, this really keeps the worry away about using up my current set of Prismacolor, which I'll show right now. And it's housed in this BTS KY colored pencils. And on all my pencil cases, I put little tags. So this one says Prismacolor Premier. And after accumulating a lot of pencils, um, just having the tags helps instead of the colors because I started getting like one of each color, but then yeah, I still couldn't remember which pencils were in, in what, except for the Prisma, I remember that one. So in here, I have a extender. I have more than this, but this is just, you know, in case and I also have blender pencils back up this one is my mineral orange for this little pencil oh my gosh I almost cried because <laughs> when I first used this it was like a couple years ago um, uh, it kept breaking on me and breaking and I didn't want to put it in a microwave so I tried using um, a hair dryer and it kind of worked, but it just it didn't. And I was scared that I would have burnt um, the wood. So um, what I did do is whenever I had like kind of a point, but it still fell out, um, I would use crazy glue. And it worked, worked for a bit, but I finally bought something that would help the breakage. But I'll go ahead and show that one later. So yeah, so here is my Prismacolors. And some are missing right now because I'm using it in a coloring and I have it sorted in its own tin. And I also have another one because I have two colorings that I'm trying to do. So and these are from the dollar section from Target. So it's good to have like lots of these so um, you don't uh, mix up your colors. And um, if you have a two year old like I do, he won't get into it. <laughs> Yeah, it's good to keep them in cups and high off, um, high up in the shelf, so so it doesn't play with them and color all over your page. So yeah, there's some colors that rarely used. I try to use them if I notice that um, I haven't used it yet. But yeah, use the browns a lot. Tell. I know I don't use the silver and what is this? Um, the metallic gold. Have to find a use for those. I mean, if you guys have any ideas, you can comment below and let me know what you use these colors for. Besides just, you know, like um, jewelry or yeah. So this is my Prismacolor collection. 
The next colored pencil sets I want to show you is my Crayola colored pencils. And in this uh, rolled out pencil case that has owls and porcupine, it houses my 100 count Crayola colored pencils. So they're all long right now because um, when I bought the 120 count of Crayola colored pencils. Um, I took out um, the 100 colors that are in the 120 and put it in here so they're nice and long and ready for me when uh, I need to use the backup. Okay, so this is the 120 or 100 count, my backup. Go ahead and move this back up. And my 120 count um, Crayola colored pencils are housed in this pencil case. Um, this is different from the BTS KY. I don't remember who the seller was. And it's a little taller. And I think it's, I don't know if it's the same size as the, um, in width with the, the 120 um, BTS KY pencil cases. But it is definitely taller than all of them. Oops, sorry. So I'll go ahead and open it. And I love Crayola colored pencils. Um, they work great on like Jade Summer coloring books or pretty much any um, create space kind of papers. So yeah, I like how it lays down on that and, uh, and I don't have to sharpen it as much. So this is, um, the pencils I'm using right now in a whip in the world of flowers. So just keeping those aside. Oh, this is my 120 set of um, Crayola colored pencils. The next one I want to share with you um, that's in this rolled out um, pencil case with the Eiffel Tower, the Love in Paris, and it houses my Marco Raffine. I actually got this uh, pencils as a, I believe it's a white elephant gift. It's the one, is it white elephant? I think it was, I can't remember. Yeah, so happy I won it. <laughs> but then I also saw there's a bigger set because this is only 48 and then there's also the Marco Renoir, but I'll just stick to this for now. Maybe sometime in the future I'll go ahead and um, pick up, uh, what is it, uh, the Marco Renoir. So this is the Marco Raffine, the 20, uh, 48 set. The next one I want to share with you is the Arteza uh, 72 Expert Colored Pencils. Um, this is actually my backup because um, when I first purchased this, when it came out, I received, um, oops, I received uh, the set that came with two cocoas. Yeah, so I think I was missing the chocolate. Let's see, where is the chocolate? Yeah, I was missing a chocolate color, I think. And I emailed um, Arteza uh, company and asking if they could send me the missing color. But instead, what they did was sent me a whole new set, which uh, I was very grateful that they did and a great company to do that. And yeah, so this is my backup set, and I'll go ahead and show you um, the current one that I'm using. And it's in this hot pink, <coughs> excuse me, hot pink BTS KY um, uh, pencil case. It also, I also have two other um, 
colored pencils in here, so I'll go ahead and show that to you guys. So my Artezas are in the back, right over here. Lovely, lovely pencils. You love this. And my favorite color actually in this whole set is, um, let me pull it back more. If I can get it, okay. It's Ubi, which I'm surprised that they used that as a name, but perfect description though, because um, uh, there's this Filipino dessert called ubi and it's the exact color <laughs> I don't like ubi but um, a lot of people do so yeah this it's just well really nice that they have that and um, so the other colored pencils I have in this case is the polycolor um, yeah the polycolor it's the Corinor hard mouth uh, polycolors Which is nice. I always get scared that um, to remember to push it down a little bit because I have them all facing out that I don't rub it against the um, zipper. But so far, I haven't had any problems with that. So this is my coinors. Push it back down, and then in the front, I have my tritones. I've had this for while but uh, still getting used to um, the tritones where I use it. I usually use the earth I think it's called earth tones and I use them on um, like doors or floors so I use, like to use that pencil with yep so this is my Koinors and Artesas Okay, in this pencil case, I have my Holbein's, the Holbein Artist Colored Pencil, um, the 150 set. Um, and I got this as a Mother's Day gift from the kiddos and my husband. So go ahead and open. And here are the neons love feeling my pencils and these are here for another whip i believe it's in the fairy tales coloring book here yeah look at this it's getting smaller but no oh, it's okay and then i have the pastels in the back beautiful colors okay so this is my whole binds artist colored pencils. The next one I want to show you is my Faber Castell Polychromos. Uh, one of my favorite pencils beside uh, Prismacolor. So yeah, using some of the pencils right now. these pencils. I wouldn't mind another set of these, but I think it can wait probably another year or two. <laughs> I still, um, I already ordered backups for the ones that are getting short, so yeah. This is my 120 set of Faber-Castell Polychromos. The next set I want to show you is my Tombow Erogeton. Sorry for the shaking. Go ahead and open it. And this is another BTS KY case so I I didn't um, I didn't uh, arrange them by their colors I kept them in their sets and that's also how I did it with my swatch which I'll show show you guys later so yeah so here it is scratch. Anyways, so yes, this is my Tombow Erogitense. The next one I want to show you guys is my Caran Pablo's. 
and I'm using a couple of the pencils right now for um, a coloring. And I um, really like these pencils on um, the Hannah Lynn coloring books. They work really well. You can see some of them are sharper than others. There's some that I used with the Holbein, um, or not Holbein, uh, with the Teagall sharpener, but I got a new one, so but I'm going to show it later. Um, it's part of my supplies um, of what I use for this kind of sharp point. But you guys probably can guess. Love the colors here, especially these um, aqua green, jade, light green. So this is my Karen Dash Pablos. Another set of Karen Dash I have is the Luminance, which um, I think I got it for a birthday last year. Oh, it's one or the other. You know, so happy that there's um, Mother's Day and um, birthday and Christmas. So. <laughs> All I ask for is um, coloring supplies or coloring books. Yeah. Yeah. Love using these too, but at the same time, you know, um, they are pricey, so. Uh, I try not to use it too much, but um, yeah, but I'll get into it. Um, I got it pretty much to do like um, faces and stuff because um, I've seen some people on Instagram where they use the luminance and it comes out so beautiful. So I want to practice that also. Yeah, so this is my Karen Dash luminance. The next one is the Durant Color Soft. And really love these pencils. I like working with the um, Color Soft on top of the um, on top of the ink tents. I hope you can hear me over opening this case. So I'm sorry if you can't. Yeah, very beautiful pencils. Love them. Yep. So this is my Durant Color Soft. The next one I want to show you in this hot pink, um, I think it's a 72 count um, BTS KY case. It is the Black Widows, and I have all three sets, and they're all ordered by colors. Yeah, and I heard they're going to come out with a, another set, um, so I'm going to keep a lookout for that, but I'm going to have to change the case and get a bigger one. But um, you can see on, <laughs> I forgot which set this was, the Black Widow set. I had the one that didn't have the name on it. And um, I looked up um, the color chart and someone had the names of um, the colors. So I had to figure out which one, which name belonged to which color in my set. So, and I wrote it with um, a white Posca. So. And I think this is the black. It kept um, it kept breaking, so it kept getting smaller. But it's okay. Yep. So that's my Black Widow collection. The last set of colored pencils I want to show you is 
my Mitsubishi Uni um, colored pencil. I have the 100 set. I got this a couple years ago. Uh, my brother-in-law gave me a gift card for Christmas, so I went ahead and bought this one. And I like these um, crayons. I don't know if you can see. And the, um, this lid, it, it stands straight up. So it's like this, and you open it. And it has all the names and the numbers that belongs to each um, little container for your colored pencils. And they hold out like this, which is, you know, I think it's fun because uh, if when you pick out the colors that you're using, you can just leave this out. And when you're done, stick it back in. Back in. And you can tell like uh, which one's being used. There. And I think um, Cali Girl and there was someone else that also did um, a review on these pencils. But you know, I've used them and I like them. I mean, it takes some use to. And I also think it depends on the kind of paper that you're using these pencils on. And yeah. So I thought, you know, I got these because I also have Japanese coloring books. So. You know, Japanese um, brand colored pencils should work great <laughs> on um, Japanese colored um, coloring books. So, but yeah, so this is the Mitsubishi Uni 100 set um, colored pencils. Okay, um, the next couple sets I'm going to be showing you are watercolor pencils. Um, but this one is my Derwent Ink Tense, which is um, not watercolor, it's um, ink where um, you can't move the colors anymore after you've activated it. So once um, you activate it with water, it sets. Oh, let's see, I have one more. I love that it came out with this purple, um, purple pencil case. Oops, forgot to open one more. But these pencils will last a while, a long while. I mean, you, you don't really need that much pigment um, to, um, to activate the water. I mean, if you want it more vibrant and deeper, yeah, you would um, add a lot of color to it. But usually I use this as a, a base for my coloring. So I just put a light layer on, activate it, and if I want to shade in, I add a little bit more. I don't have to worry about the colors moving. So, yeah. So you can use your water brush off the tips of the pencils or or color it with it. So. Yep. So this is my Derwent Intense. So in this um, purple case, um, I got it as a Christmas present. We do Secret Santa in our family because there's so many of us. So um, yeah, this was in. Um, my wish list a couple years ago and my cousin got this for me which is so sweet of her to do and I wanted the this is the Colore watercolor and I forgot I think it's a 72 set so I wanted to try watercolor pencils mostly because you know doing backgrounds it's hard to come you know be creative and find ideas and I just want to learn how to do watercolor and I'm still learning and trying to get the nerve up to um, to do it so yeah it's kind of loose in this case but, yeah. so still learning with watercolor pencils and watercolors too so and great people to watch um, regarding like watercolor stuff is May, uh, May Brox and Coloring V is also pretty good. I love watching her. And there's also Rebecca's Coloring. She does a lot of tutorials. So anyways, um, this is my uh, 
Calori watercolor pencils. And the last uh, watercolor pencil set I have is the Arteza watercolor pencils. And it's in this case. When I bought this case, I thought it just had fabric, but it was the same size as my um, other 72 set, like this one. But it's longer. But it's okay, I love the color. So in this one I have, what did I say? My Arteza watercolors. Go ahead. Yeah, and like I said, um, I'm still learning um, how to use watercolor pencils. So they're still in here. So this is Arteza watercolor pencils. So a couple of years ago, I heard about um, Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2. They're water, uh, water soluble crayons. And I have the 40 set. I would love the 80 set, but this is good enough for me right now because I'm still learning. And um, yeah, just got to get that nerve up to get in there with the <laughs> watercolor, use the watercolor brush. You know, it's, for me, it's just, um, I spend the money on the books and I don't want to ruin it, you know. Um, I want to make the most of them. So, you know, I feel bad when I, when and if I ruin um, a page that, you know, I become hesitant about using like water media. So, but, you know, um, yeah, but I want to learn and I want to try and, different ways of you know um coloring and enhancing my coloring page so yeah so this is the neo color too really have fun playing with these and this is the kuritaki gambi Tan tanzai Gam gambi <laughs> sorry I messed that up but um my lovely sister got this for me for chris i believe it's christmas or birthday can't remember but i've used this quite a bit um i still keep the little plastic on top of it just to keep it safe used it a couple times um and my daughters when they do their projects they ask to use some watercolor so I think, yeah, I, I let them borrow this. But I also swatched it out over here. I also did another um, uh, swatching of this, um, but it's in my swatch book, and I'll go ahead and show that later on. So anyways, this is the Kuritaki Gansai Tembi. There you go. Okay. So the next one I want to show you is my Sakura Koi watercolors. And this is um, the 72 set. So you slide the little, I don't think you call it a lever, but you just slide it back and you lift both pieces. So it comes um, with two palettes, one with big um, sections and one with eight sections here. <clears throat> and the watercolors are usually, um, the water brushes are usually here, but I took them out. They're in a, um, a little container that I'll show later. But um, the reason I got this is because I'm not that good at um, uh, figuring out how to put a color together. So when I did the swatch of this, I don't have to um, mix colors too much. I can just grab the color I want and... Um, and lay it down so um, yeah so that's why I um, went ahead and got this so it's good to learn on so just have to keep practicing and hopefully um, I can get better at it so I'll put that palette back and then the cover slide this back down that's it. So that's the Sakura Koi watercolors. 
Okay, so the last few I'm going to show are these watercolors. Um, my phone is about to die, so I'm going to end the video with these, and then hopefully you'll come back for part two. Um, so I'll start off with this one on the top. It is the Colero Fairy Tales Pearl Colors. And it comes with sterling silver, rose, lavender, unicorn, blackberry, and silver gray. Lovely colors. Really love the blackberry. <clears throat> so the next one I'm going to show is the Kuretake Ganzai Tambi, the starry colors. And it comes with six. So you have white gold, light gold, champagne, yellow, red gold, and blue gold. And this was gifted by my sister, my little sister, which was so sweet. Um, I believe it was for a, my birthday. And she also gifted me the other Kuretake Ganzai Tambi, the pearl colors. Yeah, the pearl colors. Then this one, I have it upside down. Does it have the name? No. But yeah. I don't know what this is like dark pink, like a peach, yellow, lime green, um, blue, I don't know what kind of blue, and like a pearly white. Go ahead, oops. Okay, so that's the pearl colors from the Kuretake Ganze Tambi. So the last thing I want to show you is my Kuretake Ganze Tambi um, gem colors. Comes with very beautiful, vibrant colors. Just wish they'd come with the name of it. Or if you know what it is, can let me know. So, I'm gonna go ahead and stop right here because my phone's about to die. Um, I hope you all come back for part two to finish up my coloring supply collection, which will include my markers, my brush pens, and um, all the other um, coloring supplies I use for my coloring books. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please press the like button and leave a comment if you want. And um, if and also, please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you back um, to see part two and any other future videos I um, put out. So thank you all again. Take care and happy colorings. Bye bye.